I'm Harm from Reese High School, and today we'll be talking to Dave from DK Audio. Let's go have a chat. So Dave, what's your role at DK Audio? Well, I'm actually the managing director of my company, uh, but my main uh, job during the day is sound engineer. What does a typical day look like? Well, if it's in summer and there's an event on, uh, you start very early, uh, get up, prep all your equipment, uh, load it into a truck, liaise with the event organiser once you're on site, um, set up the equipment, talk to the performers, do the job and pack it all up again. What's your favourite part about being an audio engineer? Uh, mainly meeting different people, uh, making friends with uh, different artists, getting to see a lot of great music, um, and basically being my own boss. What are some of the opportunities in the industry that some people might not realise? Well, being an international and national uh, industry, you quite often get opportunities to go overseas and uh, onto the mainland and work with uh, national and international artists. What experience in education do you have? Well, I have 36 years experience in the music industry. Um, first started out as a performer um, and along the way evolved uh, an interest in how the technical side goes. As far as an education, uh, year 10, that's as far as I went. Uh, I have done audio design courses um, and other audio en engineering courses as well. And I have a Cert for in business management. What got you interested in audio engineering in the first place? Well, being a performer on stage, um, I understood very early on how important good stage sound and good sound is to how you perform. And it was basically just a curiosity, uh, which led to an interest, which led to an opportunity. For someone who was looking at going into sound engineering, what pathways would you recommend they look at? Well, I would definitely recommend that you uh, look into as many audio engineering or sound design courses. Uh, many schools offer these now. Um, there are a lot of online resources and also network. It's not a bad idea to uh, uh, send an email to someone who owns a company and get involved and get, get in on the ground floor. So can you tell me a bit more about DK Audio? Uh, yes, we do a lot of theatre, a lot of open air events. Uh, a lot of mixing for um, national, international clients, uh, installations and specking of, of jobs, staging, lighting, basically anything to do with sound, that's what we do. Beyond the technical side, what other skills should people have if they're going to be involved? One of the most important things uh, in this game or any game is to have really good people skills be able to communicate effectively and also listen to what uh, the people want and not take yourself too seriously. Any experience in hospitality or retail would be a real advantage. Thanks Dave, today's been a great insight into sound engineering. Hopefully this gives students a better idea of what to expect and what pathways to look into into the future.